Welcome to another episode of Crazy's Cookbook. Uh, today we are doing another exotic meat special. It's going to be quite a quick episode. I've not done any elaborate dish. Uh, I'm doing a crocodile. I went hunting for crocs earlier and I've got this. And uh, now on the road. Uh, it's a bit like fish with chicken. It's, it's quite a light dish so I'm just going to do it with rice and a salad. And, uh, it's all about the tasting and, and letting you know what it's about. And whether crocodiles are good meat or if it's meat, you know. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. If you look at this, yeah, you will see that it is a bit like cod looking. I mean, it, it's got a similar texture to, to rehydrated salt fish, which is also cod. Um, you have to watch, because uh, I was posing for some photos for the, the thumbnail, and I got a gator, like, or Gatorade on me down there, yeah. Okay, I put um, Himalayan pink salt and some cracked black pepper on top. Uh, I'm going to flip it over, and have a little bit on the other side as well. I don't want to go too mental. As you can see, it's quite a tight texture. But yeah, I reckon this is going to be really good. So I'm going to slap this on some heat now. Just for a short amount on each time. Uh, but I'm going to put the rice on first. Quite simple with the rice. I'm just going to salt it and put some bay leaves in there. As I said, today is not about the dish that goes with too much. This is about eating crocodile, getting our revenge, because I'm sure the humans have been attacked by crocodiles and stuff, so I got you man, I got you. Ah. Right, this stuff on top, uh, I tell them every show, but I'm going to keep on telling you, get rid of it. Nasty, it's like scum, but you don't want, get that and go, all over the side of your kitchen, they're actually in the sink, oops, I'm going to clean that up now. The rice uh, is ready for me to cover up now, so I'm literally going to pop that on there, I'm going to move that over to the side, I'm going to leave that until the rest of the dish is ready. I'm going to get this pan. I'm going to put that on the heat. Ready for our crocodile. Right, I've got the crocodile now. As I said, season there, there, I left that on there. I'm just going to put that in here. Throw that butter around. And this only needs about two minutes on each side on this hot heat. Right, I've got this dried chilli we're going to put in the oil. Okay, because that will have a little bit of heat that passes over, but only a very subtle little bit. I'm going to use some all purpose seasoning. As I say, I want to be very sparing with the flavours on this. I want to know what the actual meat tastes like. But because it's like a fish, I'm going to put a lime in there as well. And that will bring it, enhance the flavour and make it taste lime. That's true. I think deep down you know this. Right, so I feel like this needs a bay leaf in there as well. It's kind of criminal that I haven't done it. Um, right, I'm going to flip these over now. That's easily been two minutes. That's got a nice crust. Okay, okay but that has had two minutes on either side. Now the butter has started to, to, to burn, so I don't want to fit that over it anymore. I just want it to have a nice colour on that side and look at that, that is beautiful. Now I'm going to put that on the side to rest because I think that needs to rest to cook my food. That's probably at about medium at the moment and I think um, after about 5-10 minutes that'll be the way we want it to be. Okay, so I'm going to uh, make a salad dressing and uh, some garlic for the salad. So I've got this red onion, I'm just going to chop a very thin slice to go on top of that each. Like that, that will go on top of there. I'm also going to get some red wine vinegar I'm going to pop that into a bowl and I'm going to get some mustard and I'm going to mix that in with that and I'm going to get some oil and I'm going to empty the juice of another layer on top of that well as get some coriander in there and that 
that's gonna be a real dressing for the salad. That's gonna be beautiful. One little drip for the dressing. If you haven't got honey or anything sweet like that, get a bit of sugar in there. I'll take the edge off of that. Uh, apart from that, I'm ready to go. So I'm just gonna mix in that sugar. And give it a quick taste. Make sure it's still not too sour. Delicious. Lovely, right? Right. Quite simply, got some rocket. Slap that on there. Try that on this one as well. Nice. Address it. Mm. Put some of that on top. Put the coriander leaves in there as well. And mix it with the rocket. I'm still committing crime, even ghosted and it's unsolved. I ain't gonna lie, if it wasn't for them gun cells, how would I survive? Just imagine how my mum felt carrying my life for almost nine months. I did time, seven years and almost nine months. I up, I did the maths, didn't wanna get a job. I was happy with my mask and my tool, concentrated on my music. I'm a fool for it, yeah. Sees I'm a brother, crazy from another mother. So if you ever diss my brother, I'ma shoot for him. Back to the subject, my fans are upset, why? Cause my tracks ain't suitable for the club decks. Play one of my classics. Wow, that looks absolutely lovely. Um, I wouldn't think it was anything but just any other piece of fish, just looking at it. I'm really looking forward to trying that. Um, it's, it's quite a simple dish, as I say. I just want to focus on what the crocodile tastes like. Um, and I think this is probably what you guys want to know for me. So let me cut this off. Okay, so automatically, I'm getting this is pretty tough. But through that, and that's pretty tough. It could be because it's frozen before, and maybe I've ever cooked it, but. Oh god. Nah. Right. This is the one. And then when people say, like, every time I look to another stuff, people say, no, it tastes like chicken. It does, but it's better than chicken. Like, way better than chicken. It's, it sounds like a cliche, fishy chicken, but not that fishy. Like, this is mental. This is really, really freaking nice. It's a lot like stronger than fish, it's really firm. But, like, wow. And you could, um, yeah, because it's a white, you could put any flavor you want on that, and that'd be good. That, that, that was gorgeous. And not just my seasoning, I was a bit worried when I was cut through it, I was thinking, nah, no, that's tough, but that's just good texture, I hold it together well. Wow. Um, okay, so that's. In the exotic range that we've done, I'm going to rank that higher than what we done last time. What did we have? We had um, the zebra, yeah? Which was good tasting, but way too chewy on a steak. So it would have been good with sort of stew or something like this. This here, perfect as a steak fill it, yeah? Get yourself some crocodile. Right, I really enjoyed that. I'm going to get on with eating that. Big up you guys for watching this. Uh, there's a video here coming up in the video here. There's a subscribe button and a like button, yeah? If you can press both of them, you make me a very happy man. But yeah, honestly, I'm making this. Um, now that's it. Um, yeah, really, really good.